Lucky Loop Man. This ain't a church service, but it needs to be a revival. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to pray, ain't going to be no scriptures, but this is what I need y'all to do. I need you to turn to the person on your left and say like you mean it, I will fight for you. Now I need you to turn to the person on your right and say like you mean it, I will fight for you. And then if you can do it, I need you to turn all around, brothers and sisters, and say to the person standing behind you, I will fight for you. Because let me explain something to you about this fight that we are in, brothers and sisters. There's a narrative out there that says that we're only supposed to be focused on ending this one war in Ukraine and every other evil thing the United States government does with its imperialist bloodthirsty planning and actions and bombings and interventions and coup d'etats everything this government does around the world and in our communities here those things don't matter all we need to do is end this war in ukraine that's the big deal that's the thing we need to focus on but let me explain something to you this capitalist system is at the foundation of every evil thing that comes out of this white house and the congress that creates the policies And capitalism exists, it grew, and it thrives on the exploitation of people who are different from the folks who hold the power. So capitalism continues to exploit black people in ways that it doesn't exploit working class white people. That don't mean working class white people ain't getting their ass kicked. It just means we getting our ass kicked a little worse in a different way. Capitalism exploits and denigrates LGBTQ and trans people in a different way from the way black folks are being exploited. Yeah. Women are exploited in a different way under capitalism than men are. And black women and Latino women are exploited with that fabulous triple oppression okay. under a capitalist system. So explain to me, y'all, how we are supposed to end war if we don't destroy capitalism. How do we end wars that are fought in the name of capitalist profit? Warmongers, weapons manufacturers making trillions off of the broken bones and bodies of black, brown, indigenous people around the world, working class and poor peasant people around the world. They don't do it because they legitimately hate these people. They don't do it because these people are a threat to our freedoms. They do it for capitalist profit. That's right. And they do that around the world for the same reason that a high percentage of black folks are still poor in this country that working class and poor folks in Appalachia are poor, that black trans women suffer the highest rate of homelessness and unemployment in this country. Those are all the reasons that capitalism stays in place because our exploitation, our different and unique oppression and exploitation all feeds and props up the same capitalist machine that exports war around the world. So reject anybody who comes to you and tells you that all we need to do is focus on ending this one war in Ukraine. Yes, this war in Ukraine must end, but let's not forget the 15,000 ethnic Russians who were slaughtered for eight years by the neo-Nazi infused Ukrainian army. Let's not forget those people. And as we take to the streets, let us not forget, don't you forget the people that you turned to and said you would fight for, you made a commitment. Yep. We're not out here just to end war. We're not out here just to bring peace in Ukraine. We are out here to 
to challenge and work within the empire to destroy the capitalist system that makes all of our suffering possible. And we do it for peace, absolutely, but we do it so that we all can have a future we can live in. So I want you to think about this as we move to the streets. And this is what we talk about every day on By Any Means Necessary on Radio Sputnik. It's the work we do in the Black Alliance for Peace where we're aligning and getting behind the CELAC zone of peace. If you want to know more about that, we'll be at the church. We'll have materials for you. But I want you to think about this. When we come together like this, do not let this day be the last time you show up at a mobilization for peace. Do not let this be the last time you fight for your fellow brothers and sisters. This needs to be a revival. Don't let this be an incident. Don't let this be an event. Let this be a revival and commit to stand, to fight, and to fight together for human rights. Say it with me. We stand. We fight. We fight together for human rights. We stand. We fight. We fight together for human rights. We stand. We fight. We fight together for human rights. We stand. We fight. We fight together for human rights. Thank you very much. Our luta continua. The struggle continues. But I promise you, if you keep struggling, brothers and sisters, Victoria, ah, certa, victory is certain. Peace. For a coalition. Woo! Give it up for you next. Yeah. You know, I had deja vu. 20 years ago, at this time in March, I and I'm sure many of you, we marched to try to stop the invasion of Iraq, a war crime. Now, yesterday, the International Criminal Court issued an arrest warrant for Vladimir Putin, saying he's a war criminal. But uh, Bush and Cheney walk free. So do Clinton and Clinton and Obama and Trump and Biden, who've all gotten a pass after they killed people in Iraq, Afghanistan, Serbia, Libya, Somalia, Le Yemen, and Haiti, where, where I know there's so many countries, right? But we want to end that. And the theft of money, $100 billion for Ukraine to wage this proxy war. And we don't want a war against China either. So you got to watch some of these folks who claim to be against a war in Ukraine. They want to go to China and get us in a, uh, another uh, fight against a nuclear powered nation. But that's going to be true as long as we have imperialism. There's going to be one long forever war as long as this is an imperialist country. That's why we have an $800 billion defense budget. But we don't have health care and housing as human rights. The two are antithetical. You cannot have human rights respected when you have a country that is one gigantic war machine. And I just want to say also, we have to think about the other wars, AFRICOM, SOUTHCOM, INDOPACCOM, as the US tries to control the entire world. But we will liberate ourselves from war when we liberate ourselves from the oligarchy. Thank you so much. Power to the people. Power to the people. And